So it's time! Once again, it's that time of the week, my Premiership Fantasy Rugby video. And as always, I'll be going through my team selection for round number seven and reviewing round number six. But as always, before we get into it, here is the Fantasy Team of the Week. Francois Van Vyck, Jamie George and Max Laheef in that front row. We've got Maro Itoji and David Jenkins in the locks. We've got Andy Christie, Jack Clement, Tommy Rafael in that back row, Ben Spencer and Rob Dupree at 9 and 10, Andre Esterhazen and Ollie Lawrence in the centres, Tom Parton and Tom Roebuck on the wings, Joe Carpenter in that 15 position. And for the first time this season, I have zero players in my team from the fantasy team of the week. The highest scoring player would have been Rob Dupree if you selected the Kim as your kicker at 28.5. If not, it probably would have been Ollie Lawrence at 28. So yeah, that's the fantasy team of the week and let's get into this week's video. Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, still got a sore throat, bit of a cough, stuffy sinuses, all of that. So if I don't sound 100% on my game, then that is why. But I finally got some time this week to record some content. And of course, the number one priority is getting out that Premiership Fantasy weekly video for you guys who are all involved in my Super Brew League. So on screen now, you can see my points from round number six. I amassed 118 in total, which as always is slightly above average, but unfortunately, because I make the fantasy content and you guys who follow this type of content are very, very good, it doesn't always relate to a successful position in the league, which we'll get onto shortly. But yeah, here we go. We've got Gabriel Ibitoy with 13. I had Will Muir as my captain. He only got eight, very disappointing. Faye Waboso on the other wing, 5.5, disappointing. Lazowski with 4, Henry Slade with 9, Finn Smith with 12 as my kicker, Gus Wall with 9 at scrum half, Tom Willis with 10.5, Don Brown with 9.5, Hill with 8, Moon 4, Pearson 10, Sam Co 6, Crevy 4, then Collier 5.5, Will Collier, sorry. As always, we'll look to my bench to see what mistakes I made. So, uh, to Toy, he got 5, so okay there. Thacker got 8.5, so I sh probably should have stuck with him over Crevy. Uh, Barberry had 4.5, which was fine. Randall had 9, the same as Gus War. Um, Smith had slightly more than Barton. Lewis Liner had 9.5, so he would have been better than Muir or Faye Waboso, really. So, yeah. Overall, probably my worst performance so far in this fantasy premiership rugby season. But you're going to get weeks like that. It does happen. And uh, yeah, you just got to stick to your gun, really. Let's have a look at the Bears Gamer Championship over here. So on top is that man, Fraudy. Still there on first place with 1,110 points. Imperium of Man in second, 1,102.5. Trust Lamat, 1,070. George, the Fantasy Rubbly Geek, is 1,047. Um, just George, the A Gengers, 1,019 in fifth. Ewan Shep, Van de Sheep, in sixth. We got um, Goldie Nolly, hope I pronounced that right. He's up two places into seventh. Uh, True Matrovic, he's down three places to eight. You've got Miles, who's down three places to nine. And then the top ten is rounded out by five meter. Oh, dearie me. Uh, yeah, what a name, what a name. So the highest riser was Van der Schep, up to six. Uh, up four places. No, sorry, I missed that completely. In the top ten, the highest riser was five meter. As he climbed five places. And so, so movement there, and let's climb down and see where I am. Here we go, unfortunately, down four places to 24th. I'm on 874, so already well over 300 points above, uh, behind the top guys. That man there with the yellow hat, 
not going to complete his name. But yeah, let's get into the starting 15. Um, just to go back to the leaderboard, we are now up to 45 entrants in the Bears Gamer Championship. So more people joining all of the time. And this is my starting 15 currently. And as always, I've got to put that caveat in that I am recording this currently on the Thursday morning. There's been no starting lineup announcements. So if there are any changes, I'll try and get that out to you on my community posts or in a shorts video like I did last week. We've got this round, we've got next weekend's round, and then we've got a bit of a break for European rugby. So hopefully we can finish the remaining two rounds strong before the break. And this is what I'm looking at so far. So on the left-hand side is your fixtures. We've got the Saints against Quinns on Friday. We've got Sale against Bath on Friday. Saturday, we've got Saracens against the Bristol Bears. We've also got Gloucester at home to Leicester. And then on Sunday, we've got the Falcons at home to Exeter. So some good matches there. And... Uh, some close ones, except for probably Saracens against Bristol. I don't want to say it, obviously, but Saracens are a very, very good team. So that could quite easily be a walkover. Perhaps Exeter against Newcastle. That could be fairly comfortable, but Newcastle are at home, so they might put up a bit of a fight. I've only made one transfer so far this week, and I believe that is a key one. Getting in that man, Ollie Lawrence, into your team. Um, since he's come back from the World Cup, since he started playing again for Bath, he's been absolutely outstanding. He's not a break the bank signing, I think he's only £6 million. Um, so I brought him in. Uh, I've got Lozowski on the bench in the uh, centre positions. But yeah, I think Lawrence, he seems to be well and truly... I mean, he was Bath's player of the season last year, or was he the Premiership player of the season? I can't remember. Um, he didn't really get a look in for England, so like some of those players, they've got points to make. And unfortunately, against Bristol last week, he had a hell of a game. But that's my only transfer so far. Um, I've kept Thacker and I've kept Randall on the bench. And I've got Gabriel Ibitoi also of the Bears on the bench. Just because they're playing Saracens away, I could really see that being an absolute pasting. So not really too confident in the Bristol players this week. And probably getting more Saracens players in there would do well. Um, so yeah, maybe swapping in Lazowski or uh, Nick Ezequi if they're starting, who I've got on the bench. But yeah, start from the top. So we've got Lewis Liner, who's away at Northampton at 15. We've got Will Muir and Faye Waboso on the wings. Faye Waboso's got a potentially nice trip away to Newcastle where they may score some points. Uh, Will Muir and Ollie Lawrence are away at sale, so I mean that is very, very tricky, which is again why I may make a change there. Maybe bring it in, but it's a toss up, isn't it, really? Will Bath score more points against sale than Bristol do against Saracens? I think they will, which is why I've got him in there. Um, so, yeah, Lawrence is in there as well, the new transfer. We got Slade in the centre position as the backup kicker. Again, like Faye Waboso, they're away to Newcastle, so fingers crossed that's a comfortable win for them. We remain with Finn Smith as my kicker. They are at home to Harlequins. That is a pretty much 50-50 game. I may even have to shade it to Harlequins with the England boys back, so that would be interesting to see. I've gone with Gus War, of course. They're at home to Bath. If Bath play like they do did against Bristol, Sale could put a lot of points on them. Tom Willis is an ever-present for me at the minute. He hasn't even started recently, and he's still getting double-figure points just coming off of the bench. Um, so it doesn't really matter if he starts against Bristol or not, as long as he's in that squad. Um, so yeah, then we've got Don Brandt and Pearson is the other back row positions. Um, both playing each other, but they're good all-round players. You've got to have Don Brandt in there every week. He always contributes. Um, and Pearson's just a fantastic player, as we know. Moon and Hill remain at the lock positions. Like I said, if Ezequi starts, we could bring him in. But I'm fairly happy uh, with that uh, lock position at the minute. And in the front row, we've got Sam Sio, Crevy, and Will Collier. Again, could I bring in Thaka? Would Thaka score many points against a strong Saracens team? I'm not sure. Crevy at home to Bath with the way they play uh, Sale. 
you've got the potential for some malls, some driving malls, some points that way. So yeah, that is my team currently. That is how I'm looking. We've got Faye Waboso as my captain at the minute. Again, that could change. I may go Don Brand. I may go Tom Willis if he starts. Uh, Will Muir is my vice captain. Finn Smith is my kicker. Henry Slade is my backup kicker. And that is it for my selection for round number seven. Apologies if it's a bit shorter than normal. You can probably tell with my throat I'm struggling. Can't really speak properly. Still rather under the weather. I've had it for a long time now. Um, this is going to be almost a week because I did my stream on Thursday last week, which is the day I'm recording today. So yeah, I've had it for a long time. Uh, but just, I don't want to go the whole week with no content for you guys. I want to get something out. I don't like to sit those sorts of YouTubers who aren't constantly uh, producing content for their subscribers. You know, you guys use your time and effort to come over to this channel to subscribe, to like, to comment. And I don't want to leave you without any content for many, many weeks or months. Um, that has been my goal for... Well, almost the whole year is to produce some sort of content almost every day and at the minute um, we're struggling because of the illness but I'm trying to get out some content so we're going to have this Premiership Fantasy Rugby video for you to watch as well as a couple of gaming videos this week and then hopefully next week which will be the last round of Fantasy Premiership before a break I'll be right as rain back on it and we can go into a bit more detail uh, the selection and the previous round and things like that so yeah thanks a lot for watching please do drop a like if you enjoyed today's video leave a comment down below give me your thoughts on my team selection and let me know how you guys are doing uh, what players are doing well for you are you doing well in your private leagues let me know in the comments i get back to all of them if you haven't already please do more that subscribe button i've been the bears gamer and i'll see you in the virtual scrum Thank <laughs> you.